The rules of ascendance have changed according to the wish of the dragon. A shape which depends on nothing but itself. Do you see the profundity of that concept? Inflict your desires upon reality, Guardian. Ah, my foolish friend, you walk the spine of a Euroboros. Find another way. Whenever in our passage we find ourselves in need of power, remember that the greatest authority here is a blade made keen by eons of use. There is only one end to the universe, only one conclusion, what the gods of this place call the last true ship. This is the world the Hive craves, a universe creased by the edge of the sharpest sword. Paracausality, what a trip. If you believe your weapon wants to murder all existence, then so it will. Call it a little bad juju, if you please. Sharpen your intentions. When life is strength, and strength is death, what is death? If not hope. Sickness, weakness, bad luck, pestilence. That's the old idea of a curse. This repetition is an innovation, purpose built for guardians. Death is just a word, isn't it? A catch-all term for the failure to go on. Nothing spiritual, nothing with its own quiddity. Come back to us, Ares. Come back! I have seen your future. You are, as ever, fated to be misunderstood, maligned, ruined on the rocks of tragedy. Sympathy and study do not breed alliances. Don't mistake me. The shape needs no followers. No one to enact it, to preach it, to practice it. It is and will be. There's nothing else. Hive or no hive, the end is still the same. So why are you here? Do you like it here? It's scenic, I would say. The sisters did not do much redecorating when they moved in, but I say, give them time. If you're looking for the heart of the curse, you will not find it here. It is smuggled away, secret and safe. Eris, Eris, what a name. A name for discord. A name for far cold orbits where no living thing should dare to go. We all died once and it did not prove insurmountable. Better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. Listen, listen. Death, true death, is both failure and liberation. Liberation from a race you had no hope of winning. To kill, then, is a terrible sort of compassion, a dreadful kindness. Imagine three great nations under three great queens. The first queen writes a great book of law, and her rule is just. The second queen builds a high tower, and her people climb it to see the stars. The third queen raises an army and conquers everything. The gates of hell are open night and day. Smooth the descent, and easy is the way. Do you ever pause, dear listener? to consider who benefits from all this heroism you commit. The beauty of the con before you is simply breathtaking. On one hand, a war of endless attrition. On the other, certain defeat. Tell me, Guardian, do you trust me? Do you believe I am an ally of the light or a servant of the darkness? What if I told you I was neither? That which does not kill you makes you stronger, but what does that mean in the face of immortality? You will never meet the deceiver. A dreamer set adrift, caught between schemes. A pleasant pawn for murderous queens. <laughs> Osiris, 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 can you hear me? What will you do here in this world on fire? You could carve your name into the fabric of reality, but you lack the imagination for that, don't you? You are a misshapen puzzle piece. You perplex me. You defy 
the logic which cannot be defined. The curse cannot be unraveled. You're so deep into the web of her will. Whenever in our passage we find ourselves in need of power, remember that the greatest authority here is a blade made keen by eons of use. The last true shape is not a belief. It has nothing to do with faith. It's pure logic. Self-evident, self-proven. Iron, herb, you. That is the cry now. That is the cry now that the littlest worm has shamed its kin. They'll carry out their orders with grinding stone and squeaking claw, skittering thrall and blade against her. This is the queen at the end of time, whose sovereignty is eternal because no other sovereign can defeat it. Eris, my dear Eris, if only you could see us here. If only you had not turned away toward your selfish purpose. I could flense you apart, molecule by squirming molecule. It is within my power. The idea of that final shape, it slices razor-sharp snickersnack through the pretense of civilization. Now conscience wakes despair that slumbered wakes the bitter memory of what he was, what is, and what must be yours. Listen, do you hear them respond to your presence? Commands echoing through the dark, fetid caverns.